Dr. Nambua, who has been in the medical profession for five years now, notes that the foundation's first medical outreach team on Saturday was made up of six qualified and registered doctors, three third-year medical students, three nurses, two social workers, and three receptionists, all volunteering mainly to provide general health assessments to Moses Garub residents, adding that with the current focus on the COVID-19 pandemic, many other health illnesses have been put on the back burner. Now. So we founded um, Peta Foundation last year, got registered this year, and um, it's just an initiative that was um, established to help people that um, cannot actually reach the hospital. You know, like we do have a few hospitals here, but there's always need for more. There's always um, room for more to be done. Um, the main aim was actually to reach out to the informal settlements and the marginalized communities of Namibia. But because of COVID, we couldn't really like go there yet. So um, we then thought of what can we do for now here in Vinduk, because we are on lockdown. So um, then we eventually um, decided to come to the informal settlements and we ended up here at Hakahana Community Hall. We have a pap smear screening station, um, primary health screening, and the doctors are just gonna have general consultations and uh, you know basic um, ear examination um, weight assessment and um, mostly we just want to pick up chronic illnesses and um, of, um, amazingly then the, the via visual inspection of with aesthetic acid of the cervix to detect cervical cancer and um, it's really just to not forget that there is all the other diseases that um, affect everybody and not just COVID. So this is just to highlight that and just remind the people that there's other things that we need to take care of, the chronic illnesses, diabetes, sugar, we shouldn't forget that. And also cervical cancer and that's why the two, mostly the chronic illness and, and cervical cancer screening. So that's what we have with the social workers that um, were able to also join the, the course today. So they'll offer um, counseling for psychological problems, emotional problems, and really any chronic illness. Moses Garweb's constituency counselor expressed gratitude to the Petwa Foundation, stressing the importance of health outreaches such as these. We were supposed to have a prayer yeah. for the constituency, for the region, and for the country, also the neighboring country. But because of the regulation of COVID-19, 10 people could not make the, the prayer. But in our prayer, we had doctors who were supposed to join us. Because the doctors, they are ready, they are here today to continue what they should do. The screening, what they are going to do is very important, especially the pap smear, the blood pressure, the sugar. You know, many people, they don't know, and they don't even interest in pap smear because they don't know. But as from today, I know that they will always ask the pap smear because pap smear is very important. The person who is speaking, I've got an experience because I'm... Um, a cancer, a cancer uh, uh, survivor, a breast cancer survivor, I got an experience and I'm a volunteer for Cancer Association. I know that especially the cervix uh, cancer which is here today is very, very important for the community. And I, I hope they will also give the message to others. So next time when we are going to have our prayer, because we, have, we will have prayer, the doctor will still come in. The foundation further plans to reach out to more marginalized communities of the country who do not have access to primary health care, further encouraging more health care professionals to come together and volunteer for the communities. We plan on going out to the marginalized areas of Namibia. We actually got invited to go to, um, someone is going to sponsor us to go to Okongo constituency. So the next outreach is going to be there, hopefully sometime in September. They want it as soon as possible. We want to go to the Sun community in Okongo. It's mostly for the people that are not able to get to the um, care centers.